Let's move on now and ask the question which everyone is. Did Iran help Russia in striking Ukraine? Or did Iran not help Russia? For starters, here's what the United States has to say. Uh, we assess that Iranian personnel, Iranian military personnel, were on the ground in Crimea and assisted Russia in these operations. Uh, Russia has received dozens of these UAVs so far and will likely continue to receive additional shipments uh, in the future. Now, like you heard, the U.S. is alleging that not only did Iran help the Russian military in operating Iranian drones, but also that the Iranian military was out on the ground in Crimea, helping the Russians firsthand. This is the latest development in a story that began with Ukraine's allegation that Kiev was struck by Iran-made kamikaze drones. Russia denied, as did Iran. And then reports said that Iran will be selling more drones to Russia, also missiles. But there is a defense deal in place between the two countries, and now you have this. Listen in. Uh, we're concerned that Russia may also seek to acquire advanced conventional weapons from Iran. Uh, that includes potentially surface-to-air missiles, uh, that will almost certainly be used to support Russia's war against Ukraine. So there is clearly a new alliance at play here, Iran and Russia. Iran had not voted in favor of Russia in the March 2nd UN resolution, remember that. Only Belarus, North Korea, Syria and Eritrea had. But now Iran seems to be actively helping Russia on ground. There are numerous implications. We have been telling you what this means for Israel, which of course is Iran's arch rival, and may now be forced to pick sides. But let's take a look at another aspect tonight. What does all of this mean for Iran? What does Iran stand to gain by supporting Russia? But before that, we must first look at what's happening in Iran. One, Iran remains one of the world's heavily sanctioned countries. Two, the West was hoping that Iran returns to the talking table on the nuclear deal. You know, the one it signed with six world powers back in 2015. Three, Iran is already in the middle of a turbulence. We have been telling you about the protests, the ongoing protests that have rocked the country, following the death of a young woman, Masa Amini, who was arrested by the country's morality. Okay, so this is a book of Second Ezra's 15th chapter, and the verse 30. It reads, As the companion, raging glass, shall go forth as a wild bull of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. All praise, and honor, and glory, and to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kadash. And the Bohana to the elder and the apostles of the Timiston who do well, a peace, a blessing, and salutation to you all here who are pushing these truths to the four winds of the heaven and be on the forefront of this spiritual war. And to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise, a on yes, again, as in the days of old. So, as you see here, man, it is not a room anymore, man. The Iranian and the Russian are in this together, man. I see. Not only uh, uh, see through technology or weapon, weaponry, you see, and, and also Iran is sending personnel over there, man. You see, and uh, I read uh, a very interesting comment here from Vincent uh, Sabina. He's saying, if this situation is not handled well, it could grow big and have many more countries and area without it. The only route to take is that of diplomacy, and uh, what he don't know, if we are not in the time for them diplomacy right now, right now. Like how they have that famous saying in the West, you see, diplomacy will triumph. You see, and I, I am here to tell you diplomacy you see, will not triumph because we are not living the time of diplomacy, we are living the time of war. Every country will be forced to take side, even India, man. Like right now, the Indian are walking on a tightrope. They don't want to uh, take side, man. But eventually they will take side. Because when the scripture talk about the Persian, it includes yes, the Indian, man. You see, Elam, you see. So, uh, 
when you look on the geopolitical levels and, and uh, if you analyze the situation of Iran sending uh, the kamikaze drone and uh, the Iranians have much made much better drones than the kamikaze man uh, they have highly advanced drone man you see, and that will be used in the coming war to devour much fresh man you see a technology created for vengeance man uh, you see, so right now, you see, as I was saying on the geopolitics, if we examine this a news and a prophecy, uh, you see, this will make the Israeli to take a side. They, they, they will pick a side very soon, man. You see, and right now, man, the, the, the Americans were very patient with the Iran. If you remember the, uh, see, the Vienna meeting where uh, this is the American, we are forcing the Iranian to come back to the negotiating table so that they can have the Iranian, the Iranian nuclear deal. But the Israeli were, were against that, man. The American were kind of brushing the Israeli. But right now, the American are being serious with Iran, man. You see? You see? Like, I saw another news which was going to... It was going to... The West is becoming intolerant of Iran. So this war will, will open another front very soon, man. You see? And, and life will continue to be difficult, man. So, but today I'll be talking about this, the, 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 the Kamanian, man. Let me get the book of Ezekiel, man. This is, this is the book of Ezekiel. This year have been coming a lot, man. Ezekiel 38 and 5, Persia and Ethiopia and Libya, with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gome and all his band, the house of Togom of the North Court, and all his band and many people with thee. Be so prepared and prepare for thy thief, though, and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guardian to them. I see. I see. That's what it is, man. So, uh, this is, was an, a, a, a short update on the news and the prophecy. I hope you are edified. On to the next.